gonna be vulnerable on this one. It's very unplanned, you know, very unscripted. And I think that's very much who I am. Very unscripted, very unplanned. Sounds like pretty much me. So yeah, I'm just gonna talk, just life update, what's been happening, um, my life right now. And um, yeah, some of the, the challenges yet opportunities that have, you know, presented themselves to me in this current point in my life. So this is kind of like a life update. Um, so I decided that I would do my financial risk management, which is my FRM with the Global Association of Risk Professionals. Um, I decided that I would do this last year already. Um, applied for a bursary and I actually got it. Thank God. Um, and, you know, everything basically got registered books now in April. So I was supposed to originally write in May, but, you know, I couldn't write in May because I got the material too late and everything got registered too late. So everything had to move to a different date. So I deferred my exam date to August. So I am writing my FRM exam now in August, which is, you know, quite, quite the challenge um, on my side because of how I live my life or how I've been living my life. Um, and also my personality as well. I am an extrovert. If you guys haven't noticed through my vlogs, I love people, I'm quite social. I, you know, I'm generally always out and about. I'm always, you know, with, with friends on weekends. And for once I, you know, kind of have something now that, you know, that's kind of keeping me indoors where I need to restructure my life. And to be quite honest, I only started really, really focusing in the past two weeks. Um, so, you know, like I haven't really been focusing and it hit me last weekend. I was like, oh my God, I need to focus. I actually put up something here and I was like, guys, I'm going to be MIA and, you know, I, I won't be around because um, I need to focus on my studies. And so I put this thing up because I was feeling so overwhelmed and just realizing how much I have to do, because August is right here. This is a certification that has four textbooks. So you can imagine how much I need to get through. So it means I need to get through, you know, all those four textbooks within now until June. So that in July, I can at least revise because I write in early August. You know, the journey for me to decide to study has been quite the brave journey on my side because of the things I've mentioned. Um, just really not being willing to sacrifice and um, being willing to really change my life up um, to actually fit you know, this bigger purpose and bigger vision of, you know, I actually want, you know, to further my studies and to learn more on my career because I am a credit risk manager. So I want to learn more about, you know, aspects of my field, which are in credit risk and finance. I studied a degree in mathematical statistics. So this is really helpful for me in my career, but it's such a shift in terms of my life and my day-to-day -day life and how I kind of move in the world. Um, for example, today it's a Friday. I'm indoors. Very rare. Very rare. Um, but I understand why, because I need to study and I have to, to, to do this for, you know, a greater purpose of me getting the certification which will you know lead me to greater prospects in my career 
not just locally but internationally because this is a global a global um, certification and it's equivalent of a master's so it will really help me as a risk professional to really further my career so you know in this journey of me trying to and you know basically changing my life up to studying yo like you get to deal with a lot um you know in terms of my mind myself like i've had to deal with a lot in terms of my mind and in terms of how easily i kind of have distracted myself in the past i've struggled to focus on one thing at a time which is why i've done so many different things like you know i'll be you know i'll be vlogging i'll be doing social impact stuff with my youth initiative the young catalyst i'll be doing my general work at work which is a lot but what i'm starting to learn and starting to see that it, it's so very important for myself to learn how to zoom in how to focus um so i'm literally fighting sometimes with my own mind and learning how to have laser focus and not be distracted by wanting to put my hand on this pie and put my hand on that pie because it's actually my personality to do that and i think it's a learned personality trait i feel of kind of always being or wanting to distract yourself with something you know so i don't know if other people can relate to me or listening to this but you know i know for myself that this is such a challenge because i i'm so used to that and i think as well you know so much in my life when i look back i could have done so much better in some things if i would have learned the skill that i'm learning now of actually learning to zoom in and focus and not do 10,000 things in one go um because i know that that was a part of me distracting myself from really putting my all into something and seeing how much i can do and how best i can shine in that thing you know i just think that there's so much power in in me learning now to really focus um and to put my attention to one thing and that's what i love about this this time in my life that i'm learning to to do that um and really put my all into something and see what the outcome will be yeah um and as i said looking back i've always kind of distracted myself um with something uh you know generally it's like it's something i always do like even when i'm focusing and i'm studying i'm literally like have just like a thought and i want to distract myself with something but i kind of have to reel myself in and say kanya no 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 this is what you need to do now you know you have planned to study you can't you know now go to this other thing or you can't now want to do a b c because you need to focus on this or you can't be on your phone because i found that my phone has been such a distraction which was why i said i'd be mia but what i'm learning now is that i really need to put my phone away when i'm actually focusing on whatever whether it's um applying for an international scholarship whether it's you know me working and studying i need to really really put my phone away cuz i've realized that my phone takes so much of my time and so much of my time goes wasted and is not utilized in the way that it should be utilized in so i'm dealing with so much of my mental battle of being distracted um or wanting to distract myself and i don't know what you call that 
I don't know if there's a name, if there's a psychologist, please let me know. If there's a name for, you know, a brain that literally always is wants to wonder and what causes that, please let me know in the comment section and I'll look into it. Um, so yeah, that's literally, you know, what I've been dealing with. Um, and also just fear, I, I realize there's so much fear that creeps in as well um, in life, in, in circumstances where I think just in general living actually, like literally I am fearful and scared a lot of the time, scared, um, scared that everything will fall apart. Um, and that all this hard work is in vain. I literally have fears like that. Like, what if this is all in vain? What if, y you know, I'll, I'll end up losing everything. I've always had that fear. I've always had that fear since high school. Um, and it's a fear that I'm, I'm dealing with because I realize it holds me back a lot and puts me in a position where I self-sabotage or want to self-sabotage. So I'm dealing with my own, you know, moments of wanting to self-sabotage sometimes. Um, whatever goals I have, um, you know, because if, for example, me not working and doing what I'm meant to do as a form of self-sabotage, um, you know, me, you know, wanting to build my body and get into shape and then not eating right is a form of self-sabotage. And I do that a lot. Um... So I'm dealing with that, you know, you know, and asking myself, why do I do that? Why do I self-sabotage my own goals? Um, because there's, there's, there's things that I want to achieve. There's things I want to do. Um, I want to, you know, accomplish and finish my FRM. Um, I want to, you know, get my body to a particular point in terms of, um, you know, shape that I want to completely, you know, own and have and be like, oh, okay, I've accomplished this goal um, without self-sabotaging. So I have goals, but I find that I self-sabotage my own goals. And that's something I'm dealing with. And it, you know, I've been pondering the quote by Marianne Williamson a lot, like, you know, my greatest fear is not that, you know, I'm inadequate, but it is that I'm powerful beyond measure. Um, you know, what does my power look like? Um, you know, and I, I can answer that, I think, you know, it looks like me standing in my light. It looks like me being vulnerable here on, you know, my platforms, because this is my purpose. Um, it looks like me believing that I can find love and love that is, or love can find me. Um, love that is pure, because I've experienced it before, but believing that I could experience it again and in a greater way and being patient for that love as well and not self-sabotaging my own desire of receiving it. Um, it looks like me accomplishing my body goals, you know, um, and being in the best shape of my life right now. It looks like that. Um, 
looks like happiness as well complete happiness and complete joy looks like discipline that's what my best self looks like it looks like me being committed to my purpose with god and walking with god and including him in every aspect of my life and knowing that he loves me and because of that going to him in comfort so you know i'm dealing with all these and grappling with all these fears and vulnerabilities that i'm facing because i'm alone now quite a bit and so i'm getting to think a lot i'm getting to see myself face myself um and also affirm beliefs of myself when i have doubts you know and remembering to fear not because fear has been such a hindrance in my life and i think it's taken away so much cuz there's so much i know i could have done you know that the thing where you know you have so much potential and there's so much more you can do um but because fear has held you back you haven't done it i i think i've been held back by fear quite a bit so you know as i'm embarking on this journey there are fears you know voices you know that are like trying to distract me and you know i need to constantly be present in my body and kind of let those voices pass through and in my consciousness um and remember what i need to focus on you know voices that tell me things are going to go wrong things are going to fall apart but i need to know that like i tell myself that remember the goal remember the goal you need to study right now be in this particular moment don't be too far in the future because the only thing i have is right now so yeah that's pretty much what i've been dealing with internally um my fears and as i take this journey you know not allowing distractions to hinder me in any way and it's tough because they sometimes do hinder me um sometimes i'll be distracted by one little thing and then i'll be distracted for the rest of the day but that's okay because it's important that I'm kind to myself too. So yeah, like I'm literally on a study journey. Um yeah, and I'm hoping for the best. And I'll be on and off in terms of this platform. Um but I enjoy vlogging. So you know, I'm going to try to keep the things I enjoy. but do it in discipline which is what i've been trying to do so yeah wish me luck and let me know if you have any study tips <laughs> um but i think i'm learning as i go so yeah that's it in terms of my life update dealing with fear dealing with you know vulnerabilities and distractions that come up as i'm studying but I'm going to push through. Looking forward to being more open and just sharing my journey. <sighs> you know? Stay tuned, make sure to subscribe. Hope you guys are well and are doing good. Let me know how you are feeling. Yeah. Share your